Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to click that bell and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified of any future videos. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be creating this look right here. This is I Love Sarai and she posted this video a couple of days ago on Instagram and I totally you know I saw it and I was like this is definitely a makeup look that I would do and I think I've done something similar very similar to this in the past but I was like you know what she is inspiring me to recreate it so that is what I'm going to be doing today I'm also going to be incorporating some of these products that I picked up from Ulta they are from Kylie Jenner I've never really tried too many products from this line because i know then it became kylie cosmetics but we're gonna give it a go and i also picked up one of the lip glosses and concealers so we're gonna give that a go like i said so let's jump right in all right you guys so here we go i have my brows already filled in my eyes are prepped and ready and now for the first palette i'm gonna be going in with this right here this is the masters mattes by mario perfect palette for the transition and you know that first shade you want to use on the eye i'm going to be going in with the sigma tapered blending e40 brush and i'm just going to be grabbing this shade right here from the palette this one right there starting off with that going in with the brush i'm going to be going in right into the crease just like that and making sure i apply it in there right here in the outer corner, right into the inner, just like that. So grabbing that brush and going like that in windshield wiper motion. See that? We have a little bit of that already. Perfect. That is actually one of my favorite, favorite shades from this palette. I use it all the time and I already see a little dent in it, which sucks because I know that's going to be the first shadow to be gone from the palette. It's such a good palette if you guys haven't tried it, you guys. It's so, so good. It has many transition shades, all types, all shades of brown that you can possibly need for an everyday look or transition area for any skin tone as well. I feel like it's perfect. All right, you guys, now I'm going to be switching palettes. I'm going to be grabbing this palette right here. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Neon Shadow Palette Party Vibes. So this palette is absolutely so cute. Let me show you. I'm going to be going in with this pretty pink right here from the palette. I thought this one was perfect because it's super affordable, really, really cute, and she had the pop of pink, and I feel like this one is perfect for that inner corner pink. So grabbing this brush here. This is the Sigma Shader Inner Corner E46. I'm going to be going in with that pink, like I said, grabbing a little bit of that. This look is super duper easy, you guys. I'm just going to apply the pink right here on the inner corner for that pop. I'm going to be mixing those two pinks together, actually. And a little bit of that shimmer. Let's see how that works out for us. Give it a little, because I know she had a little shimmery pink in that inner corner. So look at that. That's perfect. that's good look at that and of course if I need to go back in with the pink I can always do that after because sometimes you know when you go in with concealer it can kind of disappear but that's what that looks like and I think it looks so cute I'm gonna add a little bit of this white sparkly shade on top just to give it like that frosty pinky vibe that she's got going on. I think that looks so pretty. Look at that. Perfect. I think that's really, really cute. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I, I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner and then I'll be back to apply the pink on the outer part. All right, and just like that, we have some liner. Look at that. I did go in with this one right here. This one is so, so good, you guys. This is the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Look at that. It's perfect. Very, very nice. Like nice and black and 
affordable and really easy to use so love that so now i'm going to be going back in with the makeup revolution palette and i'm going to be applying the pink on the liner right you know like tracing the liner giving the line the black liner like a pop of pink so going in with the mac 263 and the pink from the palettes i'm gonna mix those two together just like that i'm just gonna grab that Ooh, that is pretty. I really like that. Tap off extra shadow. And ooh, I love that. Look at that. Do you see that? How pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just stamp it right there. Trace it out. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. You guys see that, right? Make sure I'm in focus. So I'm just grabbing the brush, stamping it, and boom. Look at that. Super duper easy. If I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. I'm just going to trace the top as well. And you always want to make sure that your eyeliner is dry. You don't want to go in while your liner is wet because then it's just going to get all nasty and mix, and you don't want that. So, and this eyeliner dries really, really fast, so that's a good thing. But look at that. How good does that look? Looks so cute. Super easy to recreate. All right, so now, I'm not going to apply any lashes right now, but I will in a little bit. So let's move on to um, base primer. So I'm going to be going in with this right here. This is the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. I'm going to add a little bit of that. This primer is so good. I always say that every time I use it. But honestly, I always use a primer. I always say that about my primers because, you guys, I wouldn't use a primer that I didn't like. You know what I mean? There has to be something about the primer that I really, really like. And this one is amazing. Alright, so for foundation, I'm going to be using one of my favorite foundations from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm in the shade Neutral Toffee 046. I'm also going to be going in with the Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in medium. I'm going to be mixing it with the foundation, of course. So I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand and squirt a little bit of this here into that i'm going to mix it around just like this and i'm just going to apply that um around the skin just like that just like that put it there and blend it as i go Probably gonna need a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I should have went in with a little bit extra, but we shall see. All right, so I am going to be using my e.l.f. sponge. It's damp already, and I'm just going to start blending that out. Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer um, in the shade Birch. I had no idea which shade to choose from, so I just decided to pick this one. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but this is what it looks like. I am going to apply... Oh, wow, this is like more peachy, which is perfectly fine because, I mean, it'll hide my... Hide, not, it'll hide, hide. It'll cover up my dark circles. So I can use this. I'm going to go in with my sponge, my elf sponge again, and see how well this actually looks. I'm trying to be very careful with the shadow but it's not bad it's not terrible actually i don't mind it it gave me pretty decent coverage that's not bad i like the consistency of it it's nice and i don't hate the shade i actually really appreciate the shade because you know it's more peachy 
and it's going to like I said help with my dark circles so now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Light. I'm going to grab a little bit of that and with my uh, Real Techniques brush. This one is the Pointed Foundation Brush. I've been liking this brush right here because it's going to apply it exactly where I want it. See? and it's perfect it's like a nice little detailed brush perfect for the cream bronzer I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose oh yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave it like that because honestly you guys this product is super duper like you don't need that much it's super duper intense so I feel like that's even a lot so I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques contour brush and blend it out of course look at that blend look at that this product blends so beautifully I'm just going to blend over here and now here and here we go beautiful obsessed with this you guys it's so good now I'm just going to do my nose just like that all done all right so now i'm gonna go in and set my under eye what else did i get from this um i got the highlighter i got the blush and i do have this right here i haven't really used it so i pulled it out because i don't remember if i liked it but possibly didn't for some reason because I haven't really used it. I don't remember myself using it or picking it up any, you know, recently. Uh, so I figured I would find it and I did. So I don't have to open the new one just in case because there has to be something about it. I haven't used it. So there has to be a reason why. But we will check that out in a minute. I am going to be going in with my RCMA powder. I found this and I was like, oh my God, let me use this. It's been a little bit. So I'll let's use that today i'm going to be using that right now going in with my sponge okay so i'm also going to be going in with the sephora um micro smooth powder in the shade medium i've been doing this also a lot lately um when i apply a lot of uh foundation and stuff so I'm going to be grabbing this brush right here from BH Cosmetics and I like to just apply that on all the other areas that I haven't applied any, um, you know, like the um, RCMA powder, which is what I'm using right now. Just so when I go in and apply my bronzer, I don't get like a streak, you know what I mean? So it's nice and soft when I go in with the powder to set the bronzer. So, and also this just adds another, um, not like thick layer, but a nice smooth look to your skin. Um, also helping your makeup last and set throughout the day, you know? So just a little bit goes a long way with this. You guys, it's so, so good. I just purchased this recently. If you guys saw my Sephora um, VIB sale uh, haul, and try on you guys already know that i have this and it's so good and honestly you just need a little bit on you know the brush you pat 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 and you're good to go now i'm going to be going in with the kylie bronzer this is the kylie jenner bron pressed bronzing powder in tequila tan so let's see all right so it doesn't look like i really used it it has a mirror it's pretty in pink and yeah so I'm going to go in and grab some with my Kenzie angled brush and let's see how well this looks. Um, yeah, I think it's a little light, but buildable as you can. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is buildable. Mm, okay. Not terrible. Mm, I don't know. not like definitely have to build it up 
for sure which is fine but it's just like a subtle everyday bronzer i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my rcma powder um and reverse contour just clean this up a little bit like that. clean that up i know that's a lot of powder i know but that's okay all right so now i'm gonna go in with what is this this is the blush this is what it looks like and the back is kylie pressed blush powder in kitten baby it's like a pink right or like a coral i think it's like a coral oh no 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 this is really this is like i don't know i don't know what this is i am mm. let's try it out you guys let's give it a try but this is super duper light for me uh -uh. all right so i'm going to be grabbing my real techniques blush brush and a lot of this because i don't know how if this is gonna show on my skin or not so mm, no mm -mm. nope 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 no we're gonna skip on that you guys all right so we're gonna go on with this blush this is the tarte blush bizarre amazonian clay blush palette had this for years you guys and i'm gonna be going in with exhilarating which is this pinky blush and with this like a little bit goes a long way so i'm just gonna apply a little bit on the cheeks that's a little better you guys i can actually see the blush the other one i felt like it was just powder being applied to the skin and i did not like that let's try out the highlighter hopefully the highlighter works out because the bronzer wasn't my favorite and the blush was a like hell no for me uh so this is the kai light okay we call she's calling it a kai light um, and this is the Cheers Darling. I thought this one was really pretty, so I'm hoping that it looks really, really pretty. So let me grab a brush. Here we go. I'm going in with my Nazani Kavari BH number no. five brush. This is the same type of packaging. And oh, oh, this is pretty. Okay, and I'm going with some of this. Oh wow that I like that I will keep using right here oh wow this is pretty a little on the fringe a little bit on the brow bone I like this wow I actually really like that Mm -mm. I think this was like eight, five to eight dollars. It was also on sale. All of the products were on sale. Um, I guess because they're old. I don't know. Like her old, like beginning products. Um, so yeah, like I, I actually really like that. It's really, really pretty. What do you guys think of that? Which one was your favorite? Have you guys tried any of this stuff? Let me know down below. Um, but I could tell you right now that my favorite was the highlighter out of everything. Um, and the concealer, I feel like. The highlighter and the concealer were my two, like, I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reuse them kind of thing, you know? All right, uh, so moving on, we're going to go on to lips. I'm going to go in with the NYX um, Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Ever. This is obviously one of my favorite lip liners. It's so good. And I'm just going to align my lips. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Pink for me. I'm going to apply that on the lips. And then I'm going to go in and apply a little bit of this one. This is Baddest Beige, which is also from... Maybelline. So this one I'm just going to apply it right in the center to lighten up the shade a little bit and it also gives it a little shine as you can see. Looks really good. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, finish off the eyes. I'm going to apply some mascara, some lashes. I'll be right back. I'm going to do that. And that is that. All right, you guys. So I'm back to share with you the final look. Everything put together. Look how pretty with the lashes and the bottom, you know, filled in. Um, I just, you know, I really love how simple it is, but it has that really pretty pop of color and that add on to the wing. Oh my God. I want to thank I Love Sada E for the makeup inspo because you guys, this is definitely something I would do myself. You guys know that if you guys have watched me, so I was like, I have to recreate it and I love it. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Now I'm just going to go in and set my face because I didn't do that yet. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys, so yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, please, 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 please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.